So equity financing is done. We now look at debt financing. So what is debt financing? It's basically taking a loan. Taking a loan for your business. Debt financing is basically taking a loan. So you may have short term or long term loans. Short term loans or short term debt is usually usual to finance uh, working capital, for example, um, short-term problems or shortfalls. Sometimes it's just cash flows that are a problem. So short-term loans usually are very common in uh, companies which are just starting up. They have working capital problems. Uh, before, in most companies, when they are starting up, the, the company is yet to receive any revenues. Uh, and to take care of that, uh, cash flow problems, sometimes they may go for short-term loans. And usually, short-term loans are repayable within a year. That's the definition of short term. They are not of a long period of time. Sometimes companies go for long term loans. Uh, usually, that is to finance asset acquisition, for example, um, equipment. Um, sometimes, land want to buy some land, install some equipment. For example, if you are building a factory, you need long-term loan for that kind of financing. So basically, it's for assets. And the, the payment usually for long-term, for a, a loan to be a long-term, can take up to 10, 15 years, uh, you are still paying. So, debt financing is just taking a loan. In the simple terms, you are taking, you're, you are going into debt. You are going into debt which you have to pay back. You borrow money, whatever you borrow, that's debt finance. So, short term, long term, these are called term loans. Short term, long term loans, all, of the, all that are called term loans. Term loans basically because they have a term. Term loans. Debt finance usually is term loans. One way. This can be short term or long term. So types of debt financing is one of which is term loans. The other one is uh, securing a line of credit. Term loans and then line of credit. Debt financing, you can go for term loans or line of credit. Line of credit basically 
is an arrangement that you make that when you are in financial trouble, you can get money. without necessarily going to negotiate. Uh, you negotiate at once. So let's say you have a, a line of credit that stands on your account for uh, a, a year, for example. Uh, the bank might agree that you can overdraw your account by 10 million quarter at any moment. You pay back some of it, your limit, credit limit, still goes to 10. So they need to find it like you can't adopt them. This is it. Line, um, line of credit is, is basically a loan. Uh, it gives you a, some capital business capital. Um, usually you draw on it. So you arrange, hmm? you arrange that whenever you are in, 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 uh, in, in a financial trouble, you can draw on your line of credit. It's like a card, like a credit card. Um, you know credit cards? Hmm? In, in Malawi, most of us have debit cards. They are not credit cards. Credit cards are a card that allows you to draw money even if there's no money in your account. The bank will give you a line of credit, meaning that your card can be overdrawn by 10 million kwacha, for example. But, um, the so you may, have, you may have no money in the bank, in your account, but you go to a shop, the shop owner will still be paid when you use that card. So your bank account will be, will be overdrawn, will show a negative. Okay? Are we together? Yeah. Yeah? So you have uh, a line of, you have arranged. Yeah? It doesn't mean that you, you, you use it. You can use it or you can decide not to use it. Sometimes you'll be financially okay. Your balance at the bank is positive. Whatever you are buying or whatever you are paying, it's just reducing what you already have. But should you be in a situation where you want to do more, but your balance, 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 bank account, your bank balance is, is not adequate, you can still do it. The account, the, the, whatever you have done will be honored by the bank, and the bank will just give you a negative on your account. So, for example, if you write a check, it will not bounce. The bank will not say, refer to draw where there's no money. Okay? You have, you have made an arrangement that your account can be overdrawn by 10 million at any given time. No problem. It doesn't mean that it will be negative. But should you need money, it can be negative up to 10 million. So that's the line of credit. Okay? So it's an arrangement you have made. So you can only withdraw one. So it's a capital for you because you can use it for, for example, in a particular amount, eh, you may have been a difficult in paying your people salaries for your employees. Eh? So let's say, as an example, your salary, your monthly salary bill eh, is 5 million for all your, for your company. And yet, at your bank, there is only a balance of two million. So, if you write checks to all your employees to go and get paid, 
if you didn't have a line of credit, some will, will not get the money. Right? The checks will bounce. But when you have a line of credit, and it's, you, you are overdrawn is within that credit limit, you are okay. Are we together? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's the line of credit. But there are some debt we can do now as well. Maybe. Maybe by arrangement. Hmm? By arrangement, yes. I'm, what I'm saying is a line of credit is, is the way you, you use it is the same way you use a credit card. The reason it's called a credit card is that uh, you have a certain limit where you can overdraw. So some might have a limit of twenty thousand dollars. Ningo because you have to pay it. Otherwise, for example, if you don't pay within a certain agreed time with your bank, your credit card card can be bad. You may not be able to use it. You, you know, for example, our, our, our friends in, in, in Europe and West uh, America, they, they use these credit cards a lot, and some people get into trouble. They have a credit card which, has, which can overdraw up to $20,000, and they find themselves uh, in a situation maybe they are, they are not able to, re to replenish the amount, and that can be a problem. So line of credit is also a loan, right? <coughs> but for companies, it really helps them uh, to make sure that their operations do not, stand, do not grind to a halt in times when their cash flows are not healthy. The other one, the other debt financing type is what we call uh, cash advances, merchant cash advance, merchant cash advance. Merchant cash advance. This is a situation where, for example, um, I sell you something, or you get something from me as a company. You pay me when you have sold what I've given to you. Okay? So, it could be... It could be... What example can we give? Uh, maybe let's say I am a fuel supplier. Then I supply fuel. You have a, a, a filling station. I have the fuel. I supply to you. But you only pay me when you have sold. Mm -hmm. That's when you pay me. Now, I may have a, a problem with cash. I may have a problem with cash. I have supplied you the, the fuel, and the, I ask you, because you pay me after selling, I ask you to give me some money. I want an advance on the supply that I have given you. Like these people who say they are looking for a guy. Uh -huh. So I want an advice from you. When you I know you are supposed to pay me after you sell, eh? but can you give me an advance? Only, only the understanding that you will deduct from the sales. See, you have given me an advance. The agreement is that you pay me after selling. Okay? So I've asked for an advance from you, so you, you give me, but as soon as you sell, 
When you pay me, you will deduct. Okay? And usually at an interest. And that could be just for me to take care of my cash flow problems. I have supplied to you. I know you pay me after you have sold. But you haven't sold. Can you please? Maybe you are okay. Can you give me something? So that's what we call merchant cash advance. It's one way of borrowing money. It's a debt financing. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm trying to finance my activities through debt. So we have just looked at three, but there are many. Um, there are many types. So, in summary, the many types we can say that one we have considered is bank loans or personal loans, right? You can get a loan from a friend, you can get a loan from a bank. You can get uh, loans from friends, family. Remember we talked about the angel, the angel investors. Sometimes you get money from them and not give them ownership of your company. Sometimes it's just a loan, family member. We also have what is called invoice financing. Invoice financing. You can borrow on your invoice. Okay? So some people have supplied things to a, a big company somewhere. Sometimes even exports. Some people have exported something. So they have raised an invoice for payment. Now, before that invoice is paid, you need money. So sometimes you take that invoice to your bank and say, guys, I'm waiting to be paid. This is what I supplied. This is the invoice. Can you give me money? So it's like your invoice is, is a collateral, it's, it's like a proof eh? that money is coming. Can you give me some money? Can I borrow some money from you? I'm waiting for my money. I'm waiting to be paid. So the lender will look at your invoice and say, ah, and believes it. If somebody is going to pay you, a hundred million, and you want to, you want to borrow ten million from me. Meanwhile, because some invoices are paid after three months, and you can't wait. You need money. You have supplied, but you know the people you have supplied will take too long to pay you. Meanwhile, you need money. So that's called invoice financing. Sometimes. People will borrow money because they want to send something that will give them money. Um, some debt is through what is called equipment finance. Equipment finance. Equipment finance. Maybe you are a contractor and you need some equipment, for example. You can go and ask the bank to buy the equipment. And maybe the equipment is safe to be correct. Buy a bulldozer. 
and so on and so forth. It's just an example. By equipment. Another debt financing is borrowing through issuing of bonds. 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 Not bonds, yeah. Bond. <laughs> Not bond. <laughs> bond. Bond. So it's like bond, too, right? Issuing bonds. Issuing papers. And borrowing to issue bonds. So debt financing, as you can see, has so many ways of doing it. Eh? And uh, as I promised, later on we'll be discussing the pros and cons of each, each, each one of these things and how much it costs when we are looking at the cost of borrowing, cost of raising capital. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an area on its own which we will spend some, some hours on, cost of capital. That's where we are supposed to be. Thank <laughs> you.